Ghanaians are protesting the economic hardship that they are facing and they're also protesting their government. They are saying that they don't believe their country is being led the right way. Let me show you a clip of some of the protesters. We'll come back and discuss. We are here to cry in solidarity of the ordinary Ghanaian. Mm. Today, Ghanaian children, parents can no longer feed their children. Mm. Well, parents... so, so you see what is happening right now. So please officers, uh, please officers now, um, they're maintaining the process, arresting um, some of the protesters who, who, who came here and said they're going to protest despite please preventing them. Now you can see police officers here. Is that what they signed up for? They are suffering. And then, yeah, you yeah, can see that. Some of them preventing us from even speaking to um, the protesters who have been arrested. Um, they were also protesting the fact that they're not given freedom, especially the press. And it's like they don't have freedom of speech when they are accusing the government of not doing the right thing. And putting the money, taxpayers' money, where it should go to. So, as you saw in the clip, even the people that were protesting peacefully, that needs to be underlined. That is the focus of this conversation. They are protesting peacefully, telling their government that we're not happy with A, B, C, D, and we want it to change because we are suffering. The government's responsibility here is to listen to them and come up with a plan and help them out and sort things out. It might not happen quickly, but you hear out your people because you are there to serve them. But that's not what happened. What happened was the government arrested them. The police were arresting these peaceful protesters left and right. This speaks on its own how the government is running the country because the people don't even feel safe to speak on things. And this video that we just watched shows us exactly what the people are complaining about because one of the reasons why they're protesting is because they don't have freedom of press. And as the people of Ghana, they have every right to voice their opinion if the cost of living is high. Let me ask the government a question. Then who do they ask if the people can't ask peacefully the government that is in power, the government that is running the country? It's just so bizarre how some governments feel like they're there to be served and not serve when they are being questioned instead of giving a valid answer, at the very least, try and pretend like they care. They arrest people. This is a shame. Honestly, this is shameful. But Ghanaians are not letting this stop them because the protest has gone on and it's still ongoing. Anyways fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this situation. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.